Hey everybody, Matthews Fabrication here, www.matthewsfabrication.com. That's spelled with two T's, M-A-T-T-H-E-W-S-F-A-B-R-I-C-A-T-I-O-N. Uh, here we are mounting a one of my custom cheek rests to a Hogue over-molded stock. Uh, sorry, I have allergies, and I've already prepped it. Put it on a uh, place where I want. I drew a line uh, about where the uh, bolt will come back. So when you have a, a bolt, of course, open it up. Make sure the cheek rest is far enough back. Uh, if you want to get your bolt out of your uh, rifle for cleaning, uh, you can put this back far enough. But you also want to check your eye relief. Make sure your eye relief is uh, right where you need because push it too far back and your cheeks sitting on the edge of the cheek rest, that's not going to feel well. So we're going to go right here. And what you do is you uh, either get a pencil, I put tape, and you put uh, a mark on all four sides, or you get a transfer punch with a little point on the end of it and fit it in there and you just make a mark and do that at the top uh, now some of you might feel like that's too high up on the stock but it works or if you want to make it lower just make sure you use the same same width or dimension uh, piece on both sides so that the hole is in the same location. And since I moved that, I'm going to make sure those are in the right spot. And normally I would just tape this around so it stays uh, tight and you don't make any mistakes. And then just do that to all, both sides, all four slots. And once you do it, you can take it off. I recommend using a much smaller bit, 764s, uh, or even smaller, when you first start out. And you just eyeball it, make sure you're not angling it too much. You can come over here. And uh, with these synthetic type stocks, um, you can drill halfway through because it should be hollow in the middle. There it goes. Pop through that side. Let's flip this around. Okay, and then I like to go all the way through one through to find that other hole. It'd be easier once it's uh, on here. Where is it? There it is. So I was at a little bit of an angle when I put that in, which is okay. That's why you uh, use a smaller bit first. So if you have any mistakes, a larger bit quarter inch by 20 bit. There it is. We'll uh, fix those mistakes. I'll be right back. Let me grab this quarter inch bit. Back. 
back. So I've never done a hoax stock, so this is the first time. Let's see what it looks like. It looks like it's leaves some of that rubber there. Um, looks like it leaves a nice hole though. Might uh, be a little bit of a problem for the quarter inch bolt. So it actually looks like you might have to get just a slightly bigger. Drill bit. Let's find out. Now if you push hard, it looks like it goes through. And that might be good because if it holds the bolt, that will help it uh, from twisting so much. Because sometimes these knobs are a pain. But we put a lot of uh, time into them. We drill them out because the nylon uh, washer is a little bigger than it should be, I think. We drill them out and we also tap them. Tap that nylon washer with a little tap um, just so it's not as hard on you guys. Okay, so one's long, one's short. Long one goes in the back. Put that in there. And if it's right-handed your cheeks gonna be on this side you want the bolts on this side there we go and one more it's just a little tougher to get in because of that rubber but I like it I think it feels nice actually keeps it nice and tight and take it off And you will have to cut down your uh, your bolts. Press press on your uh, other side. One mounting. Looks like the hoax stock's a little smaller, so we might actually just get uh, one of the smaller bolts. It should two of those with you all make sure to make or all check to make sure uh, the shorter bolt fits on the back one and if it does we'll just send you two short ones so there you go it's mounted uh, if you like it more even you know you can do that just make sure you have enough uh, room when you do it raise it up loosen them a little bit and Wow, oh, there's a little bit harder with the hoax stock because it sticks to it. That's good because move on you. And some people have stocks with very shiny stocks. Uh, they're very smooth, and the inside of the Kydex cheek rest is smooth, and so sometimes it, it slips. If you take a little bit of sandpaper and you sand the inside of this 220 real fast. It's not recording, is it? Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry. I thought it wasn't recording. Sand the inside of this a little bit. It'll uh, it'll stick to that shinier stock better. Um, but that's pretty much it. You just crank it down. Holding that other side. Yeah, give it a little bit of tension. Crank it down. There you go. Nice and tight. Give you a nice, uh, much better cheek weld. This will go up to an inch and a half, approximately, maybe a little, slightly more. These are one and a three quarter inch slots, but you minus the uh, quarter inch on the on the bolt. So, inch and a half inch 
adjustment. So there you go. Thanks for watching Matthew's Fabrication. Check out my uh, other videos and uh, go purchase a cheek rest at matthewsfabrication.com. And yes, it looks like we'll provide two of the shorter bolts so you have less to cut. So thanks again. Have a great day.